The Hatai province's capital city is Antakya, the modern form of Antioch, where according to Acts 11, believers were first called Christians. This thriving municipality, with a population of almost 400,000 people, was reduced to rubble in 85 seconds on February 6, 2023. Since uh, last February, uh, our inflation rate is over 165%. So day-to-day -day, uh, purchases, if you buy milk, if you buy some eggs, uh, and then also fuel, uh, that, that, uh, that, you know, it, it really uh, creates a difficulty for us to budget. Before the earthquake, First Hope were already working to bring aid to over 3 million registered Syrian refugees living in Turkey fleeing civil war. At that time, there were only 15 employees on the team. Now there are over 100. Their home base for now is located at the Hatay Stadium. There, we assisted in loading trucks with the supplies for distribution to the displaced. How much longer do you foresee needing to have the staff here? And well, our, you know, uh, our commitment is until the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, because the, when, you, when you go around the city, you will see that it is not close uh, or near for recovery or rehabilitation phase. Infrastructure under any apartment, any streets, uh, water pipes, gas pipes, sewage channels, all damaged. So what I mean is that once they, uh, once they are done uh, with all the apartment uh, the demolish, uh, demolishing, that means they have to dig more to go through and fix all of those pipings. You know, when we look at some of the ancient cities of old, a lot yeah. of them left because of earthquakes. Yeah. They just went and built somewhere else and just left the city there. Yeah. Is there a chance that they would do something like that? It's here? exactly similar. One unique way One Kingdom has been involved in this relief effort was by purchasing permanent container homes for displaced families to live in during the rebuilding process. These container camps have transformed into entire communities. Tell me about this place. What, what, what was the idea for this and how Absolutely. did you get started? Uh, this area, a lot of people felt safe kind of uh, coming here. Once uh, government made a decision to uh, have more organized places, First of Association, uh, with the support of Samaritan's Purse, we stepped in. Uh, and then we built 220. Uh, all of these living containers. Right. This location has uh, more than, I can say that 1,200 to 1,500 individuals, wow. men, women, and children. Wow. Each container community has food distribution, laundry stations, libraries, and schools. There are possibly over 100 container camps in Hatay alone. Along with other relief organizations such as Samaritan's Purse and Save the Children, First Hope is able to help manage the container sites. Yeah, most people here lost family members. Most uh, everybody here. Uh, yeah, yeah, almost everybody. Almost everybody. Yeah, wow. and we also have a few orphans here that we also uh, okay. take care of with the uh, Ministry of Family. Right. So this is right down where the, some of the worst devastation was. Yes, you yes, right in, the, yeah, right in the heart of it. Right in the heart but of as it. you see, it's a little different. There are lots of trees around. Yeah. And it kind of gives a kind of like a reserve, uh, preserved area. Yeah. yeah. And that we love. And we've been so blessed uh, to government to uh, choose us to have this place. That's great. Our last stop with First Hope was to a rural farming community where the landowners live in tents and tarp covered farms. They continue to work, hoping to bring in their crops this year. There, we participated in the distribution of the food and hygiene supplies we helped load onto the trucks earlier. Despite their situation, the Turkish farmers were very warm and engaging with us. First Hope goes to 50 or 60 remote areas like this for distribution service two to three times a month. It was very sobering to see that the disaster had not only affected large urban areas, but smaller communities like this one as well. 
We are thankful for our partnership with First Hope as they continue to look after people in times of hardship such as these. Well, I'm so grateful we met you nine years ago. We didn't know what was coming, and, yeah. but God knew and he put, yeah. our, he put us together. And so I just, I'm thankful to you and to the One Kingdom donors that have helped us to be able to buy stuff like that. Uh, to be able to help give people hope. Yep. Yep. That's, and that's, serve that's, and serve that's, the kingdom of God. Amen. So.